Hello everyone. This is Dr. Ameya Ingable. This is a surgery of perigeum with conjunctival autograft. The conjunctival incision is taken near the limbal edge. Care is taken not to cut the actual perigeum tissue under the conjunctiva. Only the conjunctiva should be cut. Get the lateral margins correct. And with a mixture of sharp and blunt dissection, make sure that you separate the proliferative conjunctival tissue from the conjunctiva over it. It's important to get the lateral margins uh, perfectly. Often th these, uh, the lateral part of the tissue is the cause for recurrence. It's important to make sure that your dissection extends all the way. Uh, the lateral border is identified by the blue or rather pink and white junction. So if you see, uh, in this case I'm going a little deeper and as I go deeper, the deeper parts appear white whereas the proliferative conjunctival tissue appears more pink. Make sure you don't uh, miss any of the lateral extensions too, otherwise you'll have uh, growth from there starting again. Uh, using adrenaline in the block helps to keep the bleeding at a minimum. Make sure you remove all the all the pterygium tissue from under the pterygium also. I am removing the head of the pterygium using avulsion. When you are using avulsion, it's a good idea to use force towards the center of the cornea rather than moving it away towards the limbus. If you move uh, the head of the pterygium towards the center of the cornea, it usually does not leave any tags so even though this is a pretty tough pterygium it's coming off without leaving any tags it's pretty difficult to smooth those tags if you let them form so prevention is better than cure so keep evolving there are various attachments remove all the attachments now the cut uh, of the pterygium has to be made in the white part that's uh, thick it's fibrous you can feel it whereas the proliferative pterygium tissue is pink and softer. So make sure you are in the white part, the tough white part and cut there. Now you can start from the other side, yes, in the white part, don't leave any of the pterygium tissue behind and got the entire tissue including the lateral margins, the wings on both sides. You can apply some amount of cautery. Uh, there's no need to heavily cauterize uh, that area. Just a bit of cautery to prevent a uh, big hematoma forming under your graft later on. That's about enough. Now, uh, before uh, making your graft, it's a good idea to insufflate the conjunctiva with some BSS. Uh, make sure that the graft is tenons free. A very careful dissection. Keep lifting the graft and keep cutting with the scissors flush with the conjunctiva. So leave all the tenons behind and get just a very thin tenons free graft. The thinner the better, uh, leaving fibers of tenon is not a good idea. Now once you have separated the graft, uh, you can cut it off. There is no need to take limbal stem cells. Uh, this The idea of a pterygium is not to take limbal stem cells, you just need the conjunctiva. So there is no need to go into a deeper dissection into the cornea and take a keratolimbal uh, autograft that's not required just a conjunctival autograft is adequate once you take the graft keep it on on uh, that area and it's important to get the limbal alignment correct now for sizing of the graft i had just eyeballed it but it's always a good idea to mark it with a surgical marker once the limbal alignment is correct spread out the graft Now what causes uh, recurrence in a pterygium is growth of fibroblasts. So if you have a good coverage of your uh, area of the pterygium, of the bare area, there is less requirement of fibrosis. So less fibroblasts come in and chances of recurrence are less. Uh, using Vicryl sutures can also induce inflammation. So I prefer using one single nylon suture in uh, this purse string sort of configuration. So it just presses the graft down and 15 or 20 days after the surgery, I can remove them. Glue is of course a better alternative, but glue is a little more expensive. 
this method although it is time consuming uh, in comparison to glue it's quite coming now here i got a bleed unfortunately uh, when i was taking the suture bite so i just uh, waited a while until the bleeding stopped and i just continued this method gives a very good cosmetic appearance and you can just cut the suture uh, next to the knot about 15 uh, 20 days from the surgery and uh, gently uh, release uh, the suture from between the bites and you can remove the entire suture in one shot that's about it it gives a very nice cosmetic appearance i think i'll send you photos of that later on Thank you.